Yes, Kanisa. I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm Jambo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Let's pray together. Baba katika njina la Yesu Kristo twasema ni asante ni kwa sababu ya nafasi umetupatia. Mungu tumekuwa nawe katika sifa katika kutumikia na mambo mengi tu ambayo tumeyafanya mbeleni. Na sasa tumefikia wakati ambao ni muhimu ili uweze kunena nasi kupitia neno lako. Twaomba katika njina la Yesu Kristo ili neno lako liwe na mwanya katika nafsi zetu ili litunjenge ili lituinue litusaidie kunjionji na kujiangalia na kuelewa wapi ambapo tumefikia kwa hivyo naomba unitumie kama chombo cha baraka kwa kanisa pamoja nami na Mungu na Baba wetu wa mbinguni tusamee makosa yetu ili uweze kuwa na nafasi nzuri ya kunena nasi katika njina la Yesu Kristo Mungu wa mbinguni tumekuomba Amen. Church, I want to talk about serving together for a united purpose. From the book of Acts, chapter number 4, verse 32 through 37. Serving together for a united purpose. And before I continue, let me say that it's like we have uh, two sentences in one. We have serving together meaning that we are you are not alone you have your colleague you have your city mate you have your church mate you have your uh, friend and you need to work together and the other sentence is for a united purpose do i want to pose a question What are these purposes? And one of the makusudi is what Jesus Christ gave us as a church. Go ye and preach the word. We have a responsibility to join us to come together for this united purpose that we may take the gospel to the world. You work together as a family. I know there are men who do not involve their wives in their projects. Mama anashukia tu ngombe imeingia. Anashukia tu ah kuna plot mahali. She does not know because the family is not working together and we need to work together for that for a united purpose. So the family must work together. Church must work together. Leaders must work together. Ladies must work together. Each and every group in the church must work together towards a united purpose. Esa Rinchon, I've come to remind you that we need to work together. Esa Rinchon. So that the ministry within our region can be expanded. We can reach many more within our region. Within our diocese, we want to see more churches coming up within our region. And I'm reminded of words of William Samboche who said that a group of hyenas can kill a single lion but that does not mean does not turn the hyenas kings of the jungle i'm only interested in the first part of the say that a group of hyenas can kill a single lion it means if each hyena goes alone then they cannot manage to kill a lion but if they come together they work together they achieve their goals i'm also reminded of akamba say doso doso say it in swahili that cha kemwe kejoana 
kidole kimoja hakiwichawa one finger can not kill lies paka siwe mbili tatu siungane si come together si work together for united purpose ili siwe chawa and the other ambao show the need for working together in unity for our purpose and in, in in our passage today acts chapter number 4 verse 32 through that 7 the believers were united in heart and mind and that's why they achieved a lot together because they were united in heart and mind they felt that what they owned was not their own and that is why they shared everything they had they understood the need for spiritual unity without which the, uh, without the spiritual unity the church could not survive the church in jerusalem the first church survived because of that unity because of pulling together because of coming together and serving together for a united purpose and that's why today we have the gospel with us in africa and all ends of the world because they what they agreed to serve together for a united purpose brethren we are called to serve together for a united purpose may i remind you that our god in heaven knows that you you belong to hiic pamoja god knows and he expects you to serve with others here for the goals for the purposes for a united purpose within the church god knows that you belong to moja and dcc and you need to work together with sister churches to make sure that ministry is simple is workable within you and dcc he knows you belong to nairobi history region and is looking to see that we work together as a region to make sure his work imefanyika kwa njia ambayo ni nzuri sana and we are supposed to serve together as a church for that united purpose if it is a responsibility we have to take concerning higher offices we have to do we have to take it possibly we pay what is due to the higher offices we participate in our activities within our region not limited to conferences seminars cd activities and by the way i'm not saying that you do not participate but i'm just reminding you that you have a responsibility to work with the rest of the churches within our region within our ndcc and the groups within our church you need we need to work together not only that but also this kind of serving together as i started to say for a united purpose should be reflected in our day to day lives should be seen kwa hivyo tunahitaji kuonekana wa leo nje yetu waone tukifanya kwa pamoja na hiyo muungano wa kufanya kwa pamoja uonekane hata kwa familia we need unity in our families we need the unity between husband and wife 
We need unity between children and parents. We need unity in our social activities and organizations. We need unity in our church. As members of where I see Moya, we need to work together if we want to go far to prosper. Leaders should work together, not only local leaders, but also leaders everywhere need that working, serving together for a united purpose. The church in Jerusalem had this unity, and that's why they served with heat, they served with unity. The early church was able to share possessions and property as a result of the unity brought in by the Holy Spirit working in them and through them, through the believers' lives. Because when we come together, when we agree to serve together, when we agree in our purpose, and we are believers, we know Jesus as our personal Savior, the Holy Spirit in the fiends and works in us. How I wish that we can adopt this attitude that everything we have comes from God and we must share. We share our time. We share our money. We share our property with sisters and brothers, with the poor, with the needy. We share our love and more so we share the word of God. I'm reminded of Matthew chapter number 10 verse 8. Matthew chapter number 10 verse 8. The Bible says heal the sick raise the dead cleanse those who have leprosy Drive out demons. Freely you have received. Freely give. You be there to a church. To shirikisha wengine. Katika mambo setu. Katika fitu zetu. Katika mali yetu. Katika chochote chetu. The last part says freely you have received, freely give. Without condition. So you, if you are to share with me your money, your property, your time, share with me without conditions. Because the conditions should not be, should not be there among believers, among Christians, among People who belong to one Father, our God in heaven. Therefore, what should we do in order to serve together for a united purpose? What should we do? I want to answer this question and I conclude. What should we do in order to serve together for a united purpose? Now, first of all, ili umungano wepo atuweze kutumikia kwa pamoja. Jambo la kwanza we should embrace unity. We should embrace unity. We need unity among us. Verse 32 here. All the believers were one in heart and mind. All the believers we are one in heart and in mind. And the word is whole, oh, the believers. And it says they shared in this unity, not just the apostles, 
Remember the church was led by the apostles. And it does not say that is the apostles who had the unity. No. Not just the apostles, not just the leaders, but all the believers were united. From the apostles to the leaders to the uh, ladies to the men to the young ones. They were all serving together for that united purpose. There was a fundamental solidarity of love and purpose. To be one in heart and mind is to be united in every fiber of their being. In fact, they were family in relationship. Waliishi na walikuwa kama familia katika hali ya mahusiano. That's why they shared same spiritual father, God Almighty. God Almighty was their father. And that's why they were as a family. And I want to believe here, all of us here, God Almighty is our father. If I told you I saved. Kama unamujua Yesu Christo. Kama mwakos wa maisha yako. You are saved. Meokoka. Then. We share one spiritual father. And we have no option. Apart from working together. For a united purpose. Buwana Yesu asifiwe. They shared spiritual birth. Because they were born again into the family of God. They shared this spiritual birth. And that's why, this is the reason why, on the last night of his life, Jesus Christ prayed a prayer that stands as a citadel for all Christians. Akaomba maombi ambayo imembaki kama ngome kwa Kristo wote miaka yote wakati wote John chapter number 17 verse 20 through 23 The Bible says my prayer is not for them alone He say my prayer is not for the disciples it's not for those who were there at that moment I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message. Because I've sent them. When he called us, I sent us the world. And that's why we are pleading with you to agree. We agree to serve together for this united purpose. That all of them may be one. Father, just as you are in me, and I am in you, may they also be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. Verse 22. I have given them the glory that you gave me, that they may be one as we are one. I in, I in them and you in me. May they be brought to complete unity to get the world know that you sent me and have loved them even as you have loved me. And this the unity is portrayed even from heaven. Jesus is praying for us all that whoever will come to know Jesus Christ as his or our personal savior we be one. The wishes of the heaven is that we be one. Is that we serve together. We agree to work together for united purposes. And I've said the purposes are many. These words are precious. Knowing the head was near, Jesus prayed 
one final time for his prayers uh, for his followers kumbuka ndakika zake za kipindi cha lala salama kile watu wa present worship some sometimes yoke la wakati nasikia sema cheza tumalize cheza tumalize it was that kipindi cha cheza tumalize lakini anachukua anachukua muda huo nafasi hiyo ili aliombe kanisa lote kwa jumla wewe nami bwana yesu asiwe sana With death breathing down his neck, uh, neck Jesus prayed not for their success not for their safety not their, for their happiness Unajua angeanza kuomba ili waweze kufaulu Wanandamu na kanisa haswa wanatamani sana kufaulu na sio makosa kufaulu lakini hiyo kutamani sana ndio tunadanganywa sana paka tunajipata chakaola babu na usikia mbarikiwa mbarikiwa yes it's good to be blessed it's good but god blesses us with a plan jesus christ did not pray for their success for their safety for their happiness for their anything else but to be one because being together if they come together is they work towards that united purpose then they will succeed then the blessings will follow them when i yesu asiwe sana watafaulu katika kila nyanja if at all they work together because whoever does not help the rest will give to us that and that's why today the ladies and the entire church we are giving because of those less privileged bwana yesu asifiwe he prayed for their unity as they would fulfill purpose he prayed that they would love each other as they went forward to love the world to him he prayed for his disciples and for all those who would come to faith in Jesus Christ becoming his followers that means you and me in his last prayer Jesus prayed that you and I be one na biblia inasema kana kwamba mwisho wa njambo ni mbola kuliko mwanzo these are the last words of jesus christ not in the on the cross but his last prayer was that the church be united and i've said this unity should and must be seen even in our families This shows us that unity matters to God. Unity matters to God. The father does not want his kids to scrabble, to squabble because this unity disturbs him. Mufarakano kutokuwa na umoja, kutotembea pamoja, kutofanya pamoja, kutotumika pamoja haipendezi Mungu. So don't enjoy don't feel good when you are working alone when you are long lunch in the ministry you need your brother hata kama ana uwezo kama wewe help him help her bring him so that you can work together bwana yesu asiwe sana and the bible says If you have love for one another the world will know because if you have you have you have love for one another you will work together towards 
this united purpose john chapter number 13 verse 35 bible says by this whole men will know that you are my disciples if you love one another if you love one another if you serve together if you are united if the world sees you doing your things together bas the world watakuwa mashahidi kana kwamba sisi ni wanafunzi wa Yesu Kristo kwa hivyo hatuna kazi nyingi ya kutangaza sisi ni wanafunzi wa Yesu Kristo unajua kuna watu wamezoea kutangaza hivyo and by so doing they cover many sins wanazozifanya kila siku na wanajivunika na yo, nimeokoka nimelala mbinguni kumekuwa nimekuja asubuhi bwana Yesu asifiwe hapana hiyo ni ya kujifunika tu we need to see you and it we need to see you working together we need to see you and blessing your brothers your sister bwana Yesu asifiwe sana The Bible says by this whole man we will know that you are my disciples. And if you are a disciple of Jesus Christ then we know for sure you are saved. I'm not saying it's bad to testify. It's good. It's good. Lakini mpango eh? unity creates in belief how will the world believe that god sent jesus if we love one another it, mean, it means if we go around proclaiming the gospel but we don't have love we are not united we are not serving together then we are doing nothing because if unity creates belief then this unity fosters disbelief and i'm reminded of the words of david psalm psalm 133 first one psalm 133 first one how good and pleasant it is when brothers live together in unity if we live together in unity if we serve together for a united purpose then it is good the world will see and the heavens we portray that it is present that we we are living together as i see moja We are in unity. We are serving together. We are together in the DCC. We are together in the in the region. Na ikiwa hiyo basi it will extend even to other denominations, not only the HIC. Because our love upendo wetu utafikia wengine. Therefore in order to serve together for a united purpose we should embrace unity and two we should avoid selfish spirit part b of verse 32 the bible says no one claimed that any of his possession was his own akuna moja alindai kana kwamba kile alichokuwa nacho ni chake ni kwa sababu gani ni kwa sababu hawakuwa na roho ya ubinafsi na tunasema tunapaswa kama kanisa kama ndizizi kama rinchon kukataa hiyo roho ya ubinafsi we should avoid self spirit the bible says 
they felt that what they owned was not their own. And I invite you at your own time to read Matthew chapter number 22, verse 37 through 39, and John chapter number 13, verse 34, but allow me to read First Peter chapter number 4, verse 8 through 10. And the Bible says, above all, love each other deeply, because love covers all, covers over a multitude of sins. All sins are covered by love. If you love me, if I love you, I will not see, you will not see my many weaknesses. Because of love. Of our hospitality to one another without grumbling. Each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others faithfully and ministering God's grace in its various forms. Each one should use whatever gift he has received. Whatever gift. Because we don't have one gift, each of us. We have different gifts. But you are to use that gift to serve others. And if I bring my gift, you bring yours, my friend brings his, then we serve together and the church will expand. Unduma itasonga mbele ikikimbia ni kwa sababu tumeleta vipawa vyetu pamoja, tukaungana pamoja, tutumike pamoja kwa kusudi moja. Selfish spirit robs us love. Roho ya ubinafsi inaondoa upendo katikati yetu. Because you want to succeed alone. You want to be seen as star. In your group you are star. You don't want anybody else to become a star. You don't want to help him or her. To reach where you are. Selfish spirit. Defines us. We are divided. Because of selfish. Hindrance. Selfish spirit attracts pride. Selfish spirit throws down development. Selfish spirit brings backbiting in any kind of organization. Therefore, raw ya umbinafs in raw mbaya. Haifai kuwa kati ya wapendo. Haifai kuwa kati kakaniza. Haifai kuwa kati kawashirika. Haifai kuwa popote pale. I know even in our families, there is this spirit of selfishness. Your brother, your sister, does not want you to succeed. And that's why. Tapata familia imekuwa kama nege bats. Kila mtu kifiake. God for us all. It is a bad spirit. And number three. In order to serve. Together. For a united purpose. We should. Always. Embalance. Fellowship. Verse 30. To see. Bible says, but they shared everything they had. Unity and avoiding the spirit of selfish, uh, selfishness opens doors for fellowship. That's why the Bible says, so they shared everything they had, no, no matter what. 
walikumbatia roho ya ushirika Hebrews chapter number 10 verse 24 Bible says and let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds and let us consider how we may spur yani ukilala you consider how you will spur, spur me nikilala nikiamka nikitembea i consider how i will spur you I spar you you spar me you spar your assistant you spar your brother you spar your sister towards love and good deeds you encourage me unanichochea kwa mambo mema kwa mambo mazuri kwa upendo but uh, many a times even those wale unaowajua you can miss them in two Sundays and you don't mind to call mlio duku ulipotea wapi siku kuona kanisa wewe ya juu ah kuja tumelimbarikiwa sana kuja jumapili tupatana fast 25 hebrews 10:25 Let us not give up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing but let us encourage one another and hope the more as you see the day approaching We are so Jonas Lakini tuna wajibu na majukumu ya kutoacha ushirika wa pamoja Ushirikisha wengine katika mambo za kiungu mambo ya kanisa And the bible says we should not give up meeting together na nikanena na kanisa la first service naambia ni anjabu kuona unakutana na mtu town pengine kwa mtaa pengine mahali fulani sasa na ungeongea unamuuliza na unakuanga kanisa wapi akwambia ah sisi ni waya AC umoja. Mara ya mwisho kuwa huko ilikuwa lini akumbuki. But he belongs to AC umoja. Huyo ni mtu ameacha ushirika and you cannot grow without this fellowship. Acts chapter number 2 verse 42 through 44. Bible says they devoted themselves to the apostles teaching and to the fellowship to the breaking of bread and to prayer everyone was filled with ewe and many wonders and miraculous signs were done by the apostles because of their coming together because of their serving together because of this united papas miracles we are done wonders happened and our pastor here has shared with us a story what happened when a lady shared her need among brothers and sisters and they prayed and miracle happened bwana yesu asifiwe sana this is the, was the spirit behind success of the first church this coming together the spirit of fellowship the spirit of fellowship being together was behind the success of the church in jerusalem and if we are to succeed we must embrace the spirit of fellowshiping together kama tutafaulu tukubali kufanya kazi pamoja kwa umoja tushirikiane kwa lengo moja kwa kusudi kwa mambo mengi tuliyopanga ukiwa na na ushirika 
yataweza kufaulu pakubwa sababu hata Mungu mwenyewe atayaingilia na maajabu miujiza itafanyika na hiyo ndiyo sababu niko hapa siku ya leo maana nimetumwa na uongozi wa Rinjon niye ni waambie wapendwa tafadhali kwa mama tafadhali tukutane Jericho tarehe mbili mwezi wa nane. kwa mama wote na wasichana wote ili tuweze kuwa na ushirika wa pamoja kama Rinjon na ile Mungu aweze kunena nasi kama wanawake na wasichana wa eneo hili letu na pia tarehe 26 wanaume pia wote kuanzia wanarika wazee kila mwanamme tuweze kukutana kule AIC Molem ni kwa sababu pia ya ushirika huo kama wanaume Mungu anene nasi kwa pamoja kwa hivyo na waomba na wazihi wa mama kindly mark 12th 8th mwezi wa nane tupatane ah uh, kule jeriko na itakuwa furaha yangu maana pengine masaa ya asubuhi mkianza pengine nitapita pale nikiona umoja zile hawa ni wa umoja wengi kikundi kikubwa takuwa furaha yangu nasikia roho inanichochea kuuliza ni wangapi tutakutana Jericho na sitaki unidanganya kwa hivyo ili usinyoshe mkono <laughs> na waomba mkuche Jericho sawa sawa na wanaume tukupatane kule Molem tarehe 26 mchungaji karibu bwana awambariki bwana hawe nanyi na niombe mchungaji she comes niseme e, ni mimi ni mchungaji Bonfast Mbidhi naitwa Bonfast Mbidhi nina watoto wanne watatu wakubwa na kamsichana kama mwaka mmoja ndai thank god thank you saidi ya yote nimeokoka nampenda Yesu kama mokosi wa maisha yangu thank you just want us to bow our heads before the lord and we respond to his word this morning <clears throat> O oh Lord and our Father we are so grateful because of your word that has come to us. It is true many times we are the source of this unity in families in the ministry Lord in our workplaces in our neighborhood. We repent before you Lord. We are the enemy Lord uh, had lured us and used us for the disunity of the community and the body of Christ. Father we ask that you may forgive us. Where father sometimes we have served with self selfish attitude and selfish interest just focusing on our own interest and forsaking your purpose and the interest of others. We repent before you Lord. May you forgive us Holy Spirit of God. As your word has come to us today it has reminded us that how good and and beautiful it is when brothers dwell together in unity we pray oh lord that even as we look forward to have our conferences as we look forward to be in our homes the lord we will fellowship together with one heart to bring glory to you with one heart Jehovah lord to edify each other with one desire to add value to the people around us for the glory and praise of your holy name so holy spirit of god we pray may you follow your word into our hearts and may it accomplish your purpose in us oh god where we have failed lord we pray for your grace that you will not fail again in the name of jesus christ we give you thanks and we give you praise in jesus mighty name we pray amen can we appreciate the lord